Happy Advent. My name is Pastor Dan Tisdell. I'm uh, the pastor of St. Mark's Roswell and St. Peter Carlsbad. Uh, both those churches are here in New Mexico. My reflection word for today is peace. And the passage I chose is Philippians 4, verses 4 through 9. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. So many, for many of us, there, these four words have been hung up in our sanctuaries. Uh, maybe they're around our Advent wreath. Um, they're, they're, they're visible during the time of Advent. And those words are love, hope, joy, and peace. And I think the loveliness of those four words at this time is those are all gifts that, that we can experience at this time of year. Um, maybe even greater gifts than the gifts of the, of the three kings we celebrate at Epiphany. We live in a world where, where these things, these four things can be in short supply often. And I think sometimes we're the ones that contribute to it. We don't always allow uh, love and hope and joy and peace in because we want to be filled with busyness and, and, and other things. I just think the gift of peace is so especially important this time of year. As the days get colder and the sun sets sooner, it just feels appropriate at this time of celebrations and, and shopping and cooking and errands and visits with family and so much more to be intentional about slowing down and breathing a bit more, just being in the moment a bit more. Now, I know the gift of peace could also be interpreted as peace among people and peace between nations and end to war everywhere. And I'm all for that. But I think even those sorts of understandings of peace start right here with us. It starts in our hearts. And trusting in our God can bring that peace that, as the text says, surpasses all understanding. I think there's also a sense of peace from that, that verse, uh, verse 6. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. This tends to be a time of the year when we stress and we worry about a lot of things. And having that reminder, be at peace, don't worry is just such a gift this time of year. My personal favorite memories of Advent and Christmas were when my mom and my brother and I would turn off the lights and we'd light a few candles and we'd read stories. Christmas stories, Advent stories, stories of the season. And those stories were great and the company was even better. But the feeling I feel when I think of those times is just this overwhelming sense of peace of stillness. And I pray that you may have that peace that surpasses all understanding this Advent season.